All right, you guys, 10.1 uh, is slope and parallel lines. And as you can imagine, we just got done with quadrilaterals. We will be able to prove a lot of things with parallel lines. And if we can get the slopes to match up, then we know the parallel lines exist there. So theorem, slope criteria for parallel lines. Two non-vertical lines are parallel if and only if they have the same slope. All right, so follow these steps to prove slope criteria for parallel lines. First, prove that if two lines are parallel, so we have two lines parallel here. If these marks didn't come out, you put them on there. All right. Then they have the same slope. Mark the figure shown, parallel lines and right angles. We have a right angle here, right? And then we've got these two sides congruent. That would be AC and DF. So we have the parallel lines. Well, given these parallel lines that we know that BAC, which I'll mark here, it's going to be congruent to EDF because they're corresponding. Look, bottom right side, bottom right side. That tells us that triangle BAC is congruent to triangle EDF, right? Because angle side angle and both angle side angle. All right. So by CPCTC, then BC, which is right here, is equal to EF, which is right here, and EF. Which I think I've already marked. Hold on a second. Oh, and they're also equal to each other, right? So then you know this. Remember what slope is. Slope is rise over run. So if this rise is equal to this rise, BC is equal to EF. And this run, AC and DF, are equal to this run, right? AC and DF then we know they have the same slope because the numerators and denominators are equal. All right. So remember a rise is a change in the y going up and down. We need it in the 90 degree in order to prove that. And a run is a change in the horizontal, the x value. All right. Explain why slope criteria can be applied to horizontal lines. Um, well, horizontal lines have a slope of zero. Alright. So they'd all have a slope of zero. Explain why slope criteria cannot be applied to vertical lines. <sighs> because they have a slope that is undefined. And I'm going to end this one. There's the first page. Kind of an explore activity to go on and we're going to come back and go here. Talk to you soon.